Hello and welcome everyone. It is time for Jim Comics Top Picks for New Comic Book Day, July 1st, 2020. Wow, I have not said that in a long, long time. <laughs> Alive. It's alive! It's alive! Yes, folks, I am alive and uh, still buying my comics and reading my comics, even though there hasn't been a whole lot coming out the last little while. There's been a couple good books. Uh, I'm going to talk about some stuff that uh, I picked up and, and uh, I think are keys and why over the last little while. And then I'm going to talk about a bunch of books coming down the road. I got some spec books in here, so we'll get going into all that and just talk some comics and get away from the insanity for a little while anyways. Um, I hope you're all, I, I really hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and I hope people are getting, you know, still working and everything else, but uh, crazy times we're living in. But we'll get into some books. Man, I miss talking comics. Um, this week, only a couple I'm looking at. This course I pick a week where there's nothing coming out. <laughs> Anyways, there's uh, Empire Preview Magazine. It's a free magazine. That is out this uh, coming week. Uh, I'm going to grab that just because I like to grab those and, and give them a quick read, see if there's anything important that shows up in there. Usually there isn't, but you never know. Uh, one book that I am buying this week, it's really the only one, it's from AWA. It's Devil's Highway Number 1. Only the one cover. It looks like a cool story, and I've been pretty impressed with these AWA, uh, their books. I really liked Year Zero. Um, Red Border, uh, what was the other one? I picked up another one, I can't remember what the heck it was. Hotel, uh, damn it, I can't remember. Anyways, I'm sure you're all yelling at your screen right now. <laughs> Tell me what it is. Anyways, that was, uh, I like their books, so those are two I'm getting this week. Um, a few books I picked up over the last little while, which I'm sure a lot of you did. Um, Venom 25, regular cover, uh, Ryan Stegman cover, love it. Got the Reposa variant, and I also got the black um, variant for that as well. This Reposa variant is really nice, and there is a second print. I mentioned this on Instagram. I'm sure by now you know all about this. That splash page in the book that has uh, that double page uh, splash page where you've got Null, and you got that mysterious character in black, and you got Virus, and you got a bunch of stuff going on. You got Wraith in there, and you got the Maker, and I think that's a Celestial up in the top. Um, a lot of stuff going on and, and going to be starting up in this second um, story arc that uh, Donnie Cates is starting with the next issue. Um, man, that's a good, and this is a, man, this is a book. I hope you got this book and I hope you got a few copies of it. I got uh, just one of each of the variants. I got three of the, the regular cover. As you know, I buy multiple. I've had multiples of Venom all the way through and I will till Kate stops writing it. Um, because though that first appearance of that um, mystery character to me is a big one. I think a lot of people are focusing on virus and not, uh, well, maybe not so much now, especially with those, um, a lot of these limited variants coming out. I got the in Hyuk Lee um, Virgin set. The second that thing went live, I, <laughs> I, bought a, I bought a set and it sold out in, I think, three minutes or something. It was crazy, the Virgin set anyways. Uh, I really like that one. Of all the, the covers, I don't buy a ton of exclusives, but that one, I wanted to get that one. That was gorgeous. There's a few other ones that have come out that I haven't liked all that much. I didn't buy any of those, but... Um, if you didn't get any of those, that's fine, but make sure you have this uh, this Venom 25 in your collection because that is a key one, in my opinion, because I really think that character that uh, Donny Cates introduced, it's going to be interesting to see who that is. Some people are saying, who knows who it is? Some people are saying maybe it's Dylan in the future, maybe it's Eddie Brock, maybe it's, maybe it's Thor, maybe it's uh, Wraith, maybe it's Sentry. I kind of, I'm hoping it's a new character myself, but uh, we'll see what happens with it. But it's uh, that's a good book to get, man. Make sure you pick that one up. If you didn't get it, I'm sure you did, but, uh, oh yeah, and there, like I was saying, there is a second print coming out for that one. That comes out on, I got it written down, hold tight everybody. This is my first video in a little while, so uh, give me uh, give me a second here. <laughs> that comes out July 15th. There's, uh, they're re reprinting the Reposa variant as well. The um, This one here, and it'll just be, instead of a red background, it'll be all blue. And then there's going to be uh, the other reprint will have that splash page. And the nice thing about the uh, splash page is that mystery character will be right in the center of the uh, of the front cover because it's a wraparound cover on that one. So that's a man, that's a good one to get. I really think that one's going to do well long term. I know you know what it's a, a people are catching on to these second prints and stuff. I've been recommending second prints for a long, long time. As you, I mean, you can see in the background here, and I had a lot of people always asking, "Why are you recommending multiple prints? Like, what doesn't make any sense?" Well, yeah, if you're paying attention to the 
to the books. Uh, you know why? I mean, because a lot of times you're getting first cover appearances of characters that are major characters, um, and they're very low print runs. This Venom 25, I think it'll be a it'll be a higher print run, no doubt, because so many people have talked about it and caught onto it. But uh, it's definitely one to get if you can get it. Pay cover price. Don't pay any more than that. Can't go wrong with that. There's really no downside to it. Um, Another one I got just this week was um, Mortal Hulk 34. I'm going to show an image from in here because it talks about... Uh, it's funny, when I was reading this the other day, I uh, I got to this page and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, because uh, as you're all well aware by now, I'm sure Al Ewing is going to be writing a Mortal She-Hulk series starting in September. And um, in this one page, it talks, the, the leaders uh, says, She-Hulk obviously died fighting Thanos. I think she knows it too, but she's repressed the memory as I once did. I wonder uh, how would she react if she died again or killed someone else. And it's kind of interesting because, you know, there's, so they wrote an arc about that and, and like, oh yeah, that's, that's right. But in, in <laughs> the books, you're going to, well, if you have these in your collection, you might want to hang on to them. If you don't, maybe look for them in the back issue bin. Don't go crazy paying stupid money, but Civil War II, um, number one is the issue she dies in. I'll show an image of the cover on the screen and then the page in the book. Um, she actually dies. And then in Civil War number four, um, in the book, on the one page, she comes back to life. Well, or, you know, at the time, people are thinking she was in a coma and that's all that happened. No, but she actually died because she was fighting Thanos. And then she's resurrected as, you know, as an immortal because she's immortal. So technically that is your first... Um, uh, her first appearance of her as the immortal she-hulk that's my opinion anyways uh that's a book i uh <clears throat> i have my shot called my shop today and said hey do you have that sitting in your back issue being yep so i got it for three bucks so that's uh <laughs> that's what i did anyways that's uh yeah mortal hulk or uh, civil war 2 number one is where she dies and four is where she's resurrected and i think that you look at her eyes she's got that green glow in her eye you'll see a close-up of that on the screen as well and that is her, my opinion, that's her first, uh, her as Immortal She-Hulk. And I bet when when Ewing writes the story, because he kind of mentioned it there in that uh, 34, how she died fighting Thanos and everything, you'll get a, a little, uh, probably a little more background of it. But uh, anyways. And then, of course, Thor number five was out this week, your first full appearance of the um, Black Winter. And, you know, you got a cameo of him in issue number four. And I got the uh, one for 25. I'm pretty sure I showed those to you guys before. Um, it's interesting because in here, because he's called the All Death. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if that means he's kind of like uh, the one below all is below all everything, or if he's um, the father of death or the All Death. So I don't know if Lady Death from uh, Thanos Wins is like his daughter or who knows. I mean, it's just great. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows where it's going, but man, I hope you got Thor number five because we're I don't know where Kate's has taken it, but um, and in here too he mentions that uh, the the Black Winter mentions that there's more uh, more enemies coming, so it's going to be interesting to see what comes. So hang on, keep buying this Thor. Do not stop buying Thor because there's going to be some good stuff coming in that. And talking about the Black Winter, there was some um, talk. I remember quite a while ago I talked about how in here it mentioned the Black Winter. And I showed that image of the face, um, and the you know Donny Cates has said no. This you know there was speculation that this is the uh, Black Winter on the cover, and there's also an image in the book. And it's really interesting when you look at the the Black Winter in Thor number five, and in at the last page of number four, you see the eyes, and then there's there's this uh, image in the forehead. It's like a kind of like a triangle diamond sort of thing in on this in on the cover and in the book of number silver surfer black number four and then in uh the last splash page of um thor number four and the image you see of him in the black winter in thor number five is the skull is the all death i'll put that image on the screen you see that same uh the eyes and that that uh that shape in his forehead <laughs> donny cates is saying no it's not but i don't know man <laughs> that's I I kind of think it is per, quite honestly. I mean, in th in Silver Surfer Black number four, I mean, right on the page they're talking about the Black Winter. Like, why would they talk about the Black Winter and have that image there and then say, "Well, no, gee whiz, that's not Black Winter. I don't know what you're talking about." Yeah, come on, man. Whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it. But uh, anyways, but um, 
Uh, just want to mention too that there is a second print coming of this. Talk to your shop, get it ordered up if you want it. I'm going to put an image on the screen what I think is going to be the the uh, cover. It's a it's that wicked ass cover. It's kind of the Black Winter looking like Thor, and um, I'm also going to put a little quick image, uh, a cat screen capture. Somebody messaged Donnie Cates and they asked him uh, what was going to be the image for the second print. And he said, Donnie Cates says, well, if you've read it, you'll you'll have a pretty good idea. And the guy goes, oh, yeah, that splash page. So pretty sure that's going to be image. That's a wicked ass cover. So and you know how second prints are going. Talk to your shop and get that one pre-ordered because you can order it now if you want it. Uh, so that's what I'm definitely getting. Love that series, man. That's so good. Um, I forgot to mention with um, with uh, the Immortal Hulk that, um, um, well, actually, I'll get to it in a bit, because I, I got some other stuff to talk about first. So, But uh, there's just some other books coming down, Revolver, Immortal Hulk, but I'll get to that in a second. So, yeah, Thor number five, that was, man, that was good. I really enjoyed that book. Um, Batman Adventures Continue number two is coming out uh, July 7th. That's so weird that DC's coming out on Tuesdays now. I refuse to go to my shop on Tuesdays to pick up books. I only I still consider Wednesday New Comic Book Day. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know, who knows, maybe they'll only be selling books at Walmart soon. Who knows? But anyways, Batman Adventures Continue number two has got the first appearance of Sonny. That character has potential to do some to-go places. Kind of uh, reminds me of Harley Quinn when she came in. But... Um, She's a protege of Deathstroke, and that's going to be her first appearance in that book. So that is one I would highly recommend you pick up, is Batman Adventures number two. There's two covers for that. And there's also a bunch of aftermarket. There's some Peach Momoko covers and a bunch of other stuff. So buy what you want. I'm only getting cover A. That's the only one I'm really interested in. It's worth picking up, though. Uh, Fantastic Four. Uh, it's part of this Empire thing. This Fantastic Four Zero comes out July 8th. It's the first appearance of the Profiteer, who's um, a new elder of the universe. You know, if you remember Ego and the Collector and Challenger and all that, they're kind of like immortals, uh, elders of the universe. So it's going to be, he's going to be a new character. He or she, I don't know if it's a guy or girl, but uh, anyways, Profiteer shows up in there. So that's a good one to get. Definitely recommend that one. <clears throat> Venom 26. I mean, <laughs> I just talked about Venom. Yeah, just keep buying Venom. That's all I can say. You get your first uh, full appearance of Virus in there, which is going to be really good. Um, I don't know where that character's going, but uh, we'll see. But anyways, first full appearance in 26. Um, possibly more about that mystery uh, character, you know, that uh, kind of looks like, I don't know. I, I'm kind of wondering if it's Null's son or who knows. But anyways, we'll see. Um, might find more about him, and like I say, that's a new uh, story because starting because it ended uh, the last one ended in '25. That Venom Island thing. Um, free comic book day uh, that was supposed to come out back in May. The Amazing Spider-Man Venom uh, free comic book day comes out July 22nd. Yeah, if from what I remember, that would have been the first appearance of Virus in the free comic book day book. But it, obviously everything got shut down, and then 25 came out before um, this free comic book now. So I kind of think it's still worth picking up. Um, it's kind of it's almost like the Amazing Spider-Man 252 and and um, the oh, damn I forget the name yeah like Secret Wars number eight and Team Up uh, was it 141 I think it was 141 and then Spectacular Spider-Man can't remember the number of it off the top of my head. I got them all. <laughs> I've even done videos on them. That's pretty bad. Um, anyways, that comes out uh, July 22nd, um, that free comic book day. So worth getting that. My At least I talked to my shop. He's still getting them, so I would talk to yours. Uh, one from Boom Studios that comes out on August 5th is uh, Seven Secrets, number one. Two covers for that one. I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, like I say, Boom Studios, uh, a lot of their stuff is getting picked up as you've been well, you know, since... Um, uh, something's killing the children, man. I'm I'm glad a lot of you guys. I recommend that series all the way through, and I know a lot of you guys picked it up. So that one looks good. That Seven Secrets number one. You can order that up through your shop. Um, Maestro number one is coming out. That's a new um, mini series, and it's funny. I remember talking about this book back in. Uh, it was around the time. There's two. It's a mini series, The Incredible Hulk, uh, Future and Perfect. You got number one and number two. There's two parts to it your first uh, appearance of the maestros in this mini series 
and uh, it's a good one to get because I, I remember thinking when uh, Mortal Hulk 25, when it went to the end of the universe, and it was, I kind of thought it was going to be the Maestro. It may still be tied in somehow, but anyways, they're coming out with a new miniseries based on the Maestro. It's you know, Hulk 100 years in the future and all that kind of stuff. So this is another one. If you don't have this one, it's probably cooled off quite a bit, but it's worth picking up if you can. It was a good little miniseries, so uh, that's a good one if you can get it. And then another one, I'm talking about the Maestro and everything else, and... Um, uh, there's also an Immortal Hulk Zero coming out September 2nd. Um, it's going to reprint uh, Mortal or um, Incredible Hulk number 312, which was your first appearance of, um, of uh, Bruce Banner's dad and his, you know, his story and everything else. So that's going to be reprinted in there. It looks like he's starting to get. Uh, the, um, a little more involved in the story. I mean, he's kind of been in there the whole time, but anyways. Um, but anyways, there's a definitely a connection with the One Below All through this whole story. This, number 12, I really hope you guys got that one back in the day when it came out, because I really think that one's, that one's going to do well long term. It's just such, that One Below All is a cool character. But it's going to have the Mortal Hulk number zero, so it's going to reprint 312, and then it's going to have Brian Banner's connection to the One Below All in the book, so it'll explain a bit more what's going on and everything else. So, uh, yeah, maybe even a little bit more about the One Below All himself. So, I man, can't wait for that one. I love Immortal Hulk, <clears throat> as you all know. Uh, Batman 100, another book coming out. Uh, first appearance of the Ghost Maker. Um, you know, in 96, we got Clown Hunter. I don't know, I'm not too sold. I, uh, I don't know, we'll see how that character does. Looks like just a punk with goggles on, but we'll see what happens in a bat. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully, the Ghost Maker is a little more interesting character. But uh, anyways, ninety six looks good. But a hundred is like I say is the first appearance of Ghost Maker. That one I'm looking forward to. Kind of figured they'd do something big for one hundred. So um, you've also got Immortal Hulk: The Threshing Place. Uh, just the one shot comes out September thirtieth. <clears throat> Sounds like there might be a new character showing up in there. So that one is one I'm definitely going to pick up. Thor number seven, I just mentioned um, number six a while ago, and number seven's got new, it looks like new enemies are showing up in that one, so uh, looks good. Immortal Hulk 37, remember that's where it looks like uh, Del Fry breaks out of the stasis chamber, is right on the cover. Uh, don't forget about 36 though, because some, you know, a lot of times the last page of uh, the Mortal Hulk will lead right into the next page, so I wouldn't doubt if something happens right at the end of 36 leading into 37, so. 36 and 37 are a couple books you really want to pay attention to as far as uh, Immortal Hulk goes. And I think that's pretty much all I got for you folks. Yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to talk some comics and uh, and uh, with Immortal She-Hulk coming out and everything else, you know, I forgot to mention that, that She-Hulk number one is going to go probably more heat on that. <laughs> It's been a good book. And in the background, I got a whole bunch of uh, second prints. Just, you know, Daredevil 610 with the Vigil. I love that character. Uh, Cole North, um, Daredevil number two, second print. That is a low print run. That's, I think, around 6,000. It's really low. And then Magnificent Miss Marvel number 10. That's the second print, um, which was the first appearance of Storm Ranger. That's a really good one to get. There was that connecting set, 7892, but. Uh, Anyways, um, just want to talk real quick about these two. I mean, I know Miles Morales has just gone absolutely bonkers the last little while. I don't have the Black Panther. Uh, I just got a regular, um, I got a couple copies of it. But um, it's funny, you know, you, you, these books just, they're, they sit along at a price and then all of a sudden, boom, they shoot up and... That's a good one, boy, is that a good one. And then, you know, I got Miles Morales, a couple of those. Spider-Man, or Miles Morales, number 13, your first Billy Morales. I mean, you guys all know this, but I just wanted to show off my books. So <laughs> I got the, the variant. And then, of course, the second print as well for that one. Man, I remember my shop had, a, had like four or five of those, and I grabbed the best one because a couple of them were marked up. I should have grabbed another one too, but uh, glad I got it because I really think Billy Morales is going places uh, with Marvel, and Miles Morales definitely is. Um Man, folks, there's uh, it's kind of weird times right now. I'll, I'll try and get videos out when I can, but if you know, when there's weeks where there's nothing coming out, I don't know, I probably won't be putting a video right now. It'll be every few weeks or once a month, but I still put stuff on Instagram once in a while. And that's all I got for you, folks. There's just been so much um, going on. I haven't, uh, I've, I've been reading some books, uh, obviously what I picked up, but I haven't. Uh, 
haven't been haven't been doing the ton of research and going back and and doing crazy stuff but uh anyways i hope you're all staying safe take care everyone happy hunt look for that civil war number four number one and number four i think number of the two number four is the big one because that's where she actually uh, kind of looks like she's resurrected there so anyways take care everyone talk to you later happy hunting stay safe bye for now